Hey, hello. I want to plead that you watch this video till the end. If you don't watch till the end, you will misunderstand what I am talking about in this video. Thank you and God bless you. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the End Time Truth Television channel. We urge you to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell icon by selecting all so that the next time we upload a new video, you will be among the first persons to be notified by Google. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Till then, Shalom. Hello, the good people of the Lord. I bring you greetings in the name of the Lord. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching me from. My courtesy is extended to you. God bless you for being there. Um, I wouldn't want to go um, yeah in the past a few days I have um, uploaded uh, two videos um, as it has to do with uh, the appointment of the wife of TB Joshua Mrs. Evelyn Joshua as the uh, overall leader of the synagogue church of all nations and um, to refresh your memory, she got to that position after uh, going to court and obtaining justice, obtaining judgment from the law court that empowered her to be included in the highest uh, board of trustee membership of the ministry. And so that, uh, be it as it may, she has been appointed. And officially, I posted that video yesterday, an official uh, confirmation from this Quran that had highlighted that she has been made the overall leader of the synagogue church of all nations and so in that capacity she has just come out to address her followers and members and uh, friends and partners of the ministry and so here I bring you the video of that address stay with us Emmanuel God is with us. My name is Evelyn Joshua. I am pleased to address you at this moment upon my appointment as the leader of the Synagogue Church of All Nations. To all our members, partners, friends, and compatriots in faith, I say good morning and win today. It has been three months since the glorious home call of our dear father, Founder and General Vasir, Senior Prophet Demitope Balub Joshua, which occurred on the 5th of June, year 2021. These past three months have surely been challenging, but we thank you all for remaining strong and for keeping the faith as we have been trained, built, instructed, and taught by God's servant Himself. Now, trials the soil upon which faith flourishes we salute your faith today like always is a new dawn in the synagogue church of all nations as we all know prophet tb joshua fought the good fight of the kingdom and finished strong to the glory of god we have not commenced the journey from where our father left the baton he had already prepared us all for this new phase and we must rise up to the occasion as a team under the command of God and the direction of the Holy Spirit. The journey is for us all. The Synagogue Church of All Nations cannot be without you, all the members, partners and friends of the ministry. So this now serves as a clarion call for you all to rise as an army of God as we push this great commission forward. I am not your general overseer. My dear husband and our dear father, the prophets for generation, senior prophet TB Joshua, remains the founder and the general overseer of the synagogue church of all nations. Like my beloved husband used to say, let love lead. 
Today, I represent the symbol of that love, even as it continues to reside by the right hand of its maker. I am only a servant who, under the leadership and direction of the Holy Spirit, will team up with you all to direct the affairs of this great ministry. We will work together, pray together, fight the fight of faith together, win together, so that we can all inherit the everlasting home together. I know that we have all missed the congregation of our brethren for the past one and a half years. But let me assure you that as God leads, we shall also converge again and worship God together as a family. So watch out. There is no gain saying, the fact that I and the entire team we need your prayers, support, encouragement, and advice all at this time. The duty is much. The burden is heavy. But we will all cast them onto Jesus, who has already given us a promise of his help. I thank you all once again for the love and support you have shown to this ministry and senior prophet T.B. Joshua for the past years. But if there's any time to show that love more, the time is now. Let me again assure you, as it has always been the watchword of this ministry, that God is always with us. Emmanuel, God is with us. God bless you all. Thank you. So, there you had it. Uh, it is no longer news, it's no more uh, rumor, it is confirmed both officially and um, in person by the woman herself, you know, just like she solicited for prayers. I wish that she will su succeed. I wish that, um, you know, that uh, God be with her. I wish that if there was any error, you know, in the foundation, I wish that, you know, she may be able to correct it. Um, like I've always said, I don't speculate and I don't go into details of the things I don't know. Um, I wouldn't join words with anybody, even though that we have had a lot of bitter pe people um, calling us all sorts of names because we report things just as we see them. But it is not, it is not new. Um, we are not surprised because, um, you know, Satan inhabits people and, uh, it is very, very unfortunate and strange when people say they are Christians and, um, you know, they have the spirit of Satan, you know, using words that are not um, godly and Christ-like. And then you ask me what makes them a Christian or what makes them Christians? They are Christians in their own words because they belong to a particular denomination. But I am, <laughs> it is funny because it is obvious that no, no denomination determines who is Christ. Christianity has to be has to do with being Christ-like or following Christ. Discipleship is what Christianity is all about. And so, when you have people who can easily threaten others and abuse others and call others names and insult others using gutter languages, and uh, sometimes and somehow you think that these people, even if they are not in the church, even if they are not Christians, that they are educated and that they should be reasonable, they have knowledge, but um, Satan is who he is. Once you are under the illusion of Satan, you know, you don't, you don't mind what you say, you don't mind what you do. So I understand some of you who are, you know, living in the gutter and um, brandishing your gutter language, you are all welcome. But at the same time, I salute those of you who are lovers of the truth that are not biased. God bless you. I will see you in the next video. In that video, I will bring up the response of um, this koan as it has to do with the evicted disciples, which video you watched last um, two days or thereabout. God bless you. From me to you, shalom.